It's the earthquake everyone is bracing for. The big one, a mega thrust earthquake that would create a tsunami off the coast of Vancouver Island as one tectonic plate slips under another. Coastal communities like Tofino would be hit hard, while Vancouver and Victoria would be spared most of the devastation. But a newly identified seismic hotspot has been found off the Sunshine Coast, deep within one plate. We have precisely located these earthquakes um, to a level of detail that allows us to say confidently that they define a major fault underneath the Georgia Strait, a fault that could host a magnitude 6 or greater event. Merrill says that could look like the 6.8 quake that caused a billion dollars in damage to Seattle in 2001. Natural Resources Canada says magnitudes between 6.1 and 6.9 can be dangerous for buildings built before seismic codes were in place. These earthquakes would have an epicenter only 70 kilometers away from Vancouver and 10 kilometers away from Nanaimo. The fault's location was pinpointed southwest of Texada Island. Merrill analyzed 30 years of data tracking quakes under the Georgia Strait. He says they make up a cluster of earthquakes they're now calling the Texada Nest. The fault line is almost 20 kilometers long and 65 kilometers below the surface. These earthquakes are occurring within the Juan de Fuca plate, so um, quite, a, quite a distance away from the mega thrust zone. Although too deep to cause a tsunami if a major quake did occur. The cluster has hosted the largest earthquake is magnitude 3.1, which um, may be able to be felt in Nanaimo and Seychelles, but uh, it would cause no damage. While researchers have found this new quake nest, they need more data to try to figure out when a bigger quake might strike. Still, they don't expect a big quake in the next decade. Eva Yuguen Senj, CBC News, Vancouver.